Well, Israel has been condemned for using live ammunition against Palestinian protesters. We can cross live now to Tetiana Anderson, our White House correspondent in Washington, D.C. So President Trump says uh, that by opening this U.S. embassy in Jerusalem, he fulfilled a promise. It's the same thing he said when he pulled out of the Iran deal. So is this all just about playing to his support base? Yeah, it's a very good question. I mean, this is certainly a stark break from U.S. foreign policy. No president in previous history has made this move. This is certainly, as you mentioned, a campaign promise that Donald Trump made before he got into office. But all of it sort of begging the question uh, of how the United States is looking in the world after such a striking move by the president. And to talk more about that, I want to bring in Robert Wassinger. He is a policy advisor at America First Policies. It is a super PAC or political action committee that is really dedicated to pushing forth President Donald Trump's America First uh, agenda. And of course, you obviously were watching the ceremony as it un unfolded uh, in Israel, in Jerusalem. But the Secretary of State, Mike Pompeo, issued a statement not too long ago congratulating, of course, the administration on this move, saying that this is really about um, bringing people together. But in this statement, he did not talk about these clashes, these protests that have turned deadly and violent uh, surrounding this issue. How effective a way is that to communicate the idea that the administration isn't taking sides here? Well, I think the administration and even some uh, past ambassadors uh, to Israel have said that this is the right step if we want to move the peace process forward. Uh, I think it's very clear that we're not going to continue mollycoddling the Palestinians and their terrorist friends. And this is an important part in moving the process forward because they're taken out of the equation now in terms of where the U.S. chooses to have its embassy in Israel. You're talking about the fact that this is an important step. We all watched this. We saw who was in attendance. It was a pretty high-level delegation, but we also saw who was not there. President Trump was not there. Vice President Mike Pence, not there. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo, not there. What does that say about the importance of this when it comes to the administration? I think what is also important to recognize is not one single Democrat senator or Democrat member of the House was there either. True. Uh, we did send a very high-level de delegation with Secretary Mnuchin, Deputy Secretary John Sullivan, Obviously, Jared uh, and Ivanka uh, were there to celebrate the opening. Uh, so our delegation was there in, in full force. Uh, Bibi Netanyahu welcomed them all with a great party last night. And then the celebrations today. So I think it's a great step for, uh, for the Middle East, for Jerusalem, and certainly for our country, uh, living up to its campaign promises. Um, we heard at this ceremony the U.S. ambassador to Israel basically saying uh, that this is a historic move, but the fact of the matter is that no other major nations are following in the footsteps of the United States and doing the same thing. Does that communicate anything to you about how perhaps the world is looking at what the Trump administration is doing? Well, I think it, what it really communicates to the world is that the U.S. is going to lead and they're not going to follow. I expect other countries will follow in the years ahead. Uh, but we're not going to continue kowtowing to uh, the global community uh, just to get along with everybody that we can. The United States is a leader, and we're going to act that way. Robert Wassinger, thank you so much for your time. Uh, it's a good point here. The Trump administration is used to making moves that it wants to. It's no secret that President Donald Trump is a decision maker. And on this, uh, he did not have any surprises. Tatiana, thank you. Tatiana Anderson in Washington, D.C. there.